just finished a conversation with Blanche. We are, we are in communion. We are thinking about the same kinds of things, but I'm going to do, first of all, I want to, I want to say that the compilation by Stacy Anderson on Kevin's trip out to the Livermore, to the Livermore Labs was beautiful, superb, the black and white. She is the editor for Eisenstein, the new editor for Eisenstein. I want you, Anderson, to do my videos. I want you to do my videos. That was fabulous. Yeah, loved loved the video, the compilation that Stacy Anderson did, and uh, Tim Shell art in the age of fission. I just got off the uh, phone with uh, Blanche, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put something together. Finally, we have to put something together because no one has come forward. Our discussion is about we are YouTubers. We are on YouTube. We're trying. We're attempting to use this medium, the YouTube medium, to generate the result, the result, the resolve to stop nuclearism and the destruction of our planet by nuclear radiation out of Fukushima. It is the prime culprit right now. There are other plants, Hanford, San Onofre, all these plants are spewing their radiation, but Fukushima is unprecedented amounts of radiation into the environment, into the ocean. This is an extinction level event, people. It's not about giving us information anymore. It's an extinction level event. Listen to me. It's an extinction level event. I'm saying it. I'm under my yellow plume. I love yellow. I'm wearing this hat because you know I love yellow. Yellow is the most difficult color to paint and I love yellow. I'm under the protection of my yellow plume. Interesting they would use it for the nuclear sign. And I'm going to talk about today about Blanche is going to do a video, I'm sure. And I, I'm working on something and, and uh, I'm going to preempt my next <laughs> video. I'm like preempting myself. And I'm going to do a video on the art, the art in the age of fission. And it's not being produced. The art, the, we, we are no longer the last, I would say, since the last 40 years, there is the art that has been produced is primarily insignificant because we are in the age of fission. And I admit, I came to this late. I came to this late. I, I had to see the fucking plant blow up with my eyes on YouTube, on YouTube, I wasn't there. You saw the explosion where uh, uh, reactor, uh, I, I don't know which one it was. I think it was reactor two that blew up. There's no fuel pool left on reactor two or reactor three. Holy camoly, the amount of radiation in all those reactors is 10, 20, 100 times Chernobyl. And people are saying, Oh, we're going to go and uh, remediate uh, Fukushima. Well, Fukushima has blown up. The radiation is in the environment. It's a hundred, it's a thousand times. And reactor three mox fuel is the worst, the worst of all imagination. It's a million times fucking Chernobyl, for God's sakes. And it's a matter of time. Uh, what, how can you fix this? There's got to be, I'm, I have faith that you can be fixing this thing, but I'm going to talk from my expertise and my expertise is making paintings. And you saw me work on a painting for the end of times. I'm, I'm making the paintings for the end of times for, for what it's worth. I mean, <laughs> chuckle, chuckle, chuckle again, people. Yeah, sitting back. You think this is like some hobby event of producing shit on YouTube. No, this has nothing to do with promoting myself, my art or anything or Blanche's art or Schellenberger's art. This has nothing to do with that. This is the the gut level feeling that we're out. we are in an unprecedented period, a perilous time, an extinction level event. Radiation is the end to everything. And people, this is not a matter of producing videos and feeling good about it. This is a matter of getting out there and getting these fuckers that have the money to change our circumstances, to take the money to change our circumstances from annihilation to some sort of survival. I want to survive. I want the people after me, the children to survive. They have no stake in this. They're just innocent victims in this, but we have a chance to make a difference. This is what I'm saying. And I'm going to just do a little bit of a rend I'm going to talk about Tim Shell, Tim Shell, Tim Shell, what Blanche brought up, Steinbeck, east of Eden, and east of Eden was 
I think it is the land of Nod is really wonderful because Cain was relegated to the land of Nod and east of Eden is not inside Eden where you have the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Oh, it's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, not the tree of good and evil. It's the tree of knowledge of good and evil is in Eden. And east of Eden, what do we have? We have the tree of life. We have the tree of life. And Steinbeck called east of Eden for a reason. And Blanche brings up the topic of Tim Shell. I think there is a lot going on in this novel, but uh, you know the discussions between Lee and Adam in this novel are superb, are wonderful, are uh, beautiful interchanges between two people. Of they had their own understanding, but but Tim Shell is what what Blanche has focused on, and I'm going to talk about Tim Shell. I studied Kabbalah. I'm an artist of Kabbalah. I did a series of paintings. I did 40, 50 paintings based on my understanding of Kabbalah. They're on my website. You can check it out. And Tim Shell. And I believe Tim Shell. I was researching. I was trying to find the spelling of Tim Shell. And I, believed, I believe it to be Tav Mem Shin Lamed. These are the Autiot, the Ot, which is the Hebrew language, which is the letters in the Hebrew language. They are glyphs. They are not like an, a, a, a normal language, A, B, C, D, E. You cannot transpose the Hebrew letters the way Hebrew uh, Jews probably try to treat this language. You can't just sort of transpose A, B, C into Hebrew. It doesn't work. The glyphs of the Kabbalah, the Hebrew alphabet is the, what is Kabbalah is structured around this language. And the glyphs that are used are factually that what they represent? This is difficult to comprehend because as Shakespeare said, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. This is not how it works. You cannot change this language. It is fixed. It is, it is almost like the granite, the crystal, the rock on what we are based. That which we are, we are shown how the structures in the universe actually function through this language. Now, I'm going to go into Tav, Mem, Lamed, Tim, Shell. Now, Tav, as a letter, I'm going to just sort of say, and then I'm going to just ramble. My own inspiration about this word, Tim, Shell, that Blanche loves to use, thou mayest. And I'm going to go into the Kabbalistic version of this. And Tav is the cosmic cycle of existence. The life and death, the life and death, the life and death. So the first letter, Tav, Tav, uh, spelled T-A-V, Tav. You can check this all out. I'm not going to go into it. It's the first letter, the cosmic cycle of existence. Tim Shell, the first letter. The second letter, Mem, is the female resistance to structure. The female resistance to structure. Life begins in this female resistance. Isn't it interesting? The female produces in her womb the life emerges out of the female womb. This is Tav. This is Tav. Interesting. Tav also comes up in Satan. Shin Tav Naun. Another interesting thing where the female becomes a division between two phenomenal concepts. The Shin is the breath of God. The Naun is all possible possibilities as in Cain. You need to research this a little bit. I'm just bringing this up. Just as I'm rambling through this. Tim Shell, Tim Shell. The Tav is also in Satan. Erroneously understood as the devil. The devil. Oh, it's the devil. It's the devil. Bullshit. There's no such thing as a devil in hell. There is, there are, there are evil, there are evil aspects to our existence as we see with Fukushima. That we're not, uh, but it has nothing to do with the devil. It has to do with ourselves. As Kevin says, thou mayest. I'm going to go into a Kabbalistic version of thou mayest. So we have the cosmic cycle of life and death, existence, with followed by the female resistance to structure, which is where all life begins. We need the female in the essence of everything that exists. It's the resistance, is that which brings forth. And the third is Sheen. And now Sheen is a gorgeous, beautiful letter. Sheen is, 
in the tetragrammaton, the yod He vav He, sheen yod He sheen vav He is the sheen, the breath of God in the tetragrammaton, which represents Yahweh, the word God. Sheen, sheen is in tin shell. Sheen is a magnificent, magnificent concept, a magnificent letter, the breath of God, where everything happens. You have a lifeless bag of blood and you breathe on it as the story goes. Don't think of it as the fairy tales in the Bible, but this, this breath comes into, into this bag of blood, this clay, this nothingness, and all of a sudden consciousness appears. That is the sheen. That is the sheen. It's a magnificent letter in Tim Shell. Why? Steinbeck used it. Whether or not he understood Kabbalah, I believe he intuitively understood this. The letter sheen is magnificent. And the last letter is Lamed and it's the organic process in existence. And organic, organic meaning all that which is life represented by organisms, frogs, deer, people, amoebas, plankton, I don't care what. You have such a magnificent compilation of elements in this word Tim Shell. Tim Shell, the surface of it Ah, it even rings beautifully. Tim Shell, there's a musical quality. I'm rambling on. You come up with your own feeling about this word, Tim Shell. There is a musical quality in this. You put this together. Tav Mem Shin Lamed, Tim Shell. What do you have? You have, a, you have the cosmic cycle of existence. Everything that is occurring continuously in every moment. Resisted by the female element, that which gives me a woody, the female element as a male, the female element attracts my resistance. I make paintings because of the female element. The female element are my paintings. This is the resistance that makes me get up every morning, the female element, that which introduces into me the caring, the love, the power of being human, me, the female element, that is the mem. And then you have the sheen. And everything is injected with the breath of God. The breath of God is all there is. And all you esoterics can go into your explanations of God, and I don't give a shit about your fucking explanations of God and religion and heaven and hell and, and Buddhism and whatever ism you want to create, the abstract expressionism, the gods you want to create. Well, the essence of this breath of God, as it is represented in the Bible, as it is represented in Yahweh, the Jesus version of the Tetragrammaton, which is Elohim, the, or no, it's a Yahweh, not Elohim, that's another story, Elohim, that would be a great thing that is to understand, to deal with. You have the Sheen in Tim Shell. <sighs> It is the breath of God, it is beautiful. It is what I try to inject my paintings with every day through the resistance of the female. And the last is the organic process in existence, Lamed, Tim Shell. That which we are now trying to preserve, the Lamed, the organic process is about to come to an end with Fukushima. And Tim Shell has within it the end of our existence, the, the organic process process, which is the cell, which is the organism, which is the plankton that feeds the whales, which is the organism that gives life to the oceans, the Pacific. The Pacific is dead because Fukushima is destroying all the plankton in the ocean and without plankton there is no life in the ocean. So do you see my thinking process when I make paintings? When I listen to somebody like Blanche, a superb insightful human being, an artist, He's brought this up. Well, it's actually uh, Steinbeck who brought it up. He introduced this word into our psyche, into the popular psyche through literature, what we use. Western civilization has literature. Kabbalah is an ancient wisdom. It's how the structures of the universe fit together. The Kabbalistic notion is built on the Autiot, the Ot, the Hebrew letters, 326,000 glyphs in a row in biblical scripture, in what is called the Old Testament, I consider it the Hebrew scripture, 326,000 continuous glyphs. 
There is no separation. They added the little dots to create emphasis on a word. This is a mystery. The entire biblical script is not fairy tales. It is a mystery based on 326,000 glyphs that exist without separation from one to the other. And you need to have enlightenment and understanding like artists, like myself, like Carlos Suarez, who is an extreme uh, mind, soul, spirit in Kabbalah. Check out Carlos Suarez. I'll put a little uh, link to uh, uh, the book that I read on base uh, that I got a lot of this intellectual stuff that allowed me to make the paintings. So these are phenomenally profound, deep issues. Not to be produced in, a, in, a, in an information. I am not information. Blanche is not information. Schellenberger is not information. We are sources of our becoming as all great artists. Vincent van Gogh, Rembrandt, Rublev, Rublev, the medieval icon painter. These are people that, that allow us to proceed from one to the next stage of our becoming. And now we have engulfed, we have been engulfed by this Fukushima, the culture of death and the culture of hate has come upon us. And Tim Shell, Tim Shell is, as I have explained, contains the seeds of understanding of what it is that makes us us. And abandoning that will what I say relegate us to the dungeons of, of, of eternity. And the dungeons of eternity is not some burning hellfire. It is the obliteration of all those people who love to think about themselves as having a soul. Whatever it is that might happen, I don't know, nobody else knows. But if something does continue in this eternity, it'll be a really brutal nothingness. It'll be like the, the, what you could imagine to be the most horrific torture times a billion infinity. That's what it is to give up on this life that we have right here. The existence that we are given, that the gift to us, this existence, will come to an end in eternity. Think about that. There is no soul. And Carl Sagan talking to uh, Robert Thurman, this Buddhist type, and I actually like Robert Thurman when he talked to Sagan and Sagan, I'm an atheist. I believe there is nothing after I did. And Thurman said to him, well, if all you can think of is something, how can you conceive of nothing? It doesn't work. And that's what I go by. Event people. It's not about giving us information anymore. It's an extinction level event. Listen to me. It's an extinction level event. I'm saying it. I'm under my yellow plume. I love yellow. I'm wearing this hat because you know I love yellow. Yellow is the most difficult color to paint, and I love yellow. I'm under the protection of my yellow plume. Interesting, they would use it for the nuclear sign. And I'm going to talk about today about Blanche is going to do a video, I'm sure. And I, I'm working on something, and, and uh, I'm going to preempt my next <laughs> video. I'm like preempting myself. And I'm going to do a video on the art, the art in the age of fission. And it's not being produced. The art, the, we, we are no longer the last, I would say, since the last 40 years, there is the art that has been produced is primarily insignificant because we are in the age of fission. And I admit, I came to this late. I came to this late. I, I had to see the fucking plant blow up with... We're attempting to use this medium, the YouTube medium, to generate the result, the result, the resolve to stop nuclearism and the destruction of our planet by nuclear radiation out of Fukushima. It is the prime culprit right now. There are other plants, Hanford, San Onofre, all these plants are spewing their radiation, but Fukushima is unprecedented amounts of radiation into the environment, into the ocean. This is an extinction level editor for Eisenstein. I want you, Anderson, to do my videos. I want you to do my videos. That was fabulous. Yeah. Loved, loved the video, the compilation that Stacy Anderson did. And uh, Tim Shell, Art in the Age of Fission. I just got off the uh, phone with uh, 
Blanche, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put something together. Finally, we have to put something together because no one has come forward. Our discussion is about we are YouTubers. We are on YouTube. We're trying. Just finished a conversation with Blanche. We are we are in communion. We are thinking about the same kinds of things. But I'm going to do first of all. I want to I want to say that the compilation by Stacy Anderson on Kevin's trip out to the Livermore to the Livermore Labs was beautiful, superb. The black and white. She is the editor for Eisenstein, the new editor.